old generator had been connected to the power cable. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Alice? Honey? The old door had played a trick on me. Alice wouldn't have come out in the dark. What do you mean, Twilight? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take oh. a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No! It's not like that! That's not- Whoa. Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Jackass. <sighs> damn it. Alice? Alice? Alice, no! No! Alice! The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alan! Alan! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! No! What the hell? Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. How the hell did he end up here from the river? I mean, from the lake. Oh, poor lake. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. 
seems so close, but yet too far. <laughs> Damn! Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. <laughs> Well, you know, you're in the woods at night. Oh, you see, I could, oh, I got all of them. That's how much I found. Because I played it before. You start this one. Departure by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Curse. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Oh, I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy, or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, the rest of us get to the halfway there. Come on, come on, come on. Anybody there? The heck is that? Please, I've been in an accident. Where do you go? The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Yep, it is. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non-refundable reservation. Deposit required. Fair and square. Ah. Just runs away. Fair and square. Oh, 
die. Ladies, I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. <laughs> Energizer. Okay. I guess we're safe here in the light. Okay. Let's read the documents. Missing page. Hmm. We left off. Oh, yeah. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling, caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Mm, scary. Your batteries. During your trying walking, it's the latest thing. Yes. Incontestably. Roman. Hello. Hello. One stone. a shooting range and now I just killed someone or something there were no bodies they just disappeared if I was dreaming it felt real enough to make me sick eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it now what could it be The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. You have to. Got no choice. Oh! Oh, I didn't want to use that. Two didn't want to kill with a flare gun. Great. Because he got more ammo. I saw the river below. Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. 